Okay, everyone, it is June 7th, 2012, Thursday, 12.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do know that I have been kind of lax in posting video blogs. Um, haven't done it in a while because I have gotten kind of caught up in my life away from the computer. And, um, you know, after my last one where I posted that I lost, you know, two dear friends to, uh, fatal accident, um, you know, I started, you know, really thinking about my life and trying to figure out exactly, you know, you know, am I living my life the way that I think that I should. And, um, you know, over the last couple of days, you know, I've, I, uh, I had gotten some input from, uh, a friend of my husband's and, um, He's one of those where he he's very impulsive. I mean, he he thinks about what he's going to say, but then when he says it, it does not come out the way that he intends. Maybe um, that's how it was explained to me by my husband. That um, a lot of times uh, it sounds good in his head, but then once he says it, it's like, oh crap! I didn't mean it like that. So I I don't know. I I was hurt and offended, but now I'm over it. So it's not that big of a deal but um, even before you know he had uh, uh, confronted me about it um, I was already thinking about it and I was discussing it with uh, a friend of mine who was over at the house that you know if you can see in the background that's all his shit he's uh, a friend of my husband's but um, when um, me and my, my husband were uh, separated for six years, you know, him and I became good friends too, so, um, uh, anyway, so, that's all his shit, he's moving in with us shortly, um, we're moving to a new place, so, yeah, the background looks all jankety, I apologies, I apologies, I apologize, um, anyway, but, the main basis of this is that, um, I'm going to be starting a regular blog again. Um, this one is not going to be about my personal life because I I have one uh, venue of vintage for that, so why have two? There's really no point. Um, so that one is going to be more or less me brushing up on my writing skills. Um, also, this is the last day of school for my children, so I'm not going to be able to do these these video blogs. So, if you want to read my ramblings, um, uh, this summer, uh, you know, I will, uh, all you gotta do is just message me or whatever and express an interest in, in reading my, you know, horseshit ramblings. I'll give you the link. Um, it's on LiveJournal. If you ever heard of LiveJournal, if you haven't, it's LiveJournal.com. Go to there. You can get a free account. Um. Uh, with, you know, not a whole lot of flack, not a, lot, a whole lot of advertising that you have to deal with. A paid account, you can pretty much turn off all the ads 100%. Um, but I was a live journal user from all the way back in 2000. So, um, you know, that's what, 12 years? <laughs> God, time has gone by. Anyway, um, what I basically wanted to ramble about real quick now that I'm getting to almost the four minute mark is lately whenever I've gone out and about in the real world you know stepped outside my little door you know left my little little computer alone and walked away and gone out there in the world um the stupid is thick in the air and for those of you that know me you know what I mean because I will go oh the stupid burns it burns ah uh, you know because I just don't understand. I don't know. It's like I am one of the few people in this little, you know, three mile by three mile town, city, whatever you want to call it, that seems to be the only one that's awake. I mean, my husband's awake. Uh, our roommate, he's just, he don't give a shit. He's trying to live his own life. So, I mean, you know, he's got his own thing going on and that's fine. Um, but whenever I'm personally out and about on my own, it seems like I'm the only one out there that is awake to what's really going on and what real reality is, and everybody else is, like, asleep. 
they're in walking comas. It's insane. But not just that, you know, just general stupid. You know, I was um, going to the little corner store to pick up, you know, some uh, some uh, Pepsi, you know, because, you know, I'm a free endorser of Pepsi. I mean, Pe Pepsi, if you ever see this, you know, help, because, you know, I talk about your product all the time. Um, uh, but I'm kidding. Um, you know, and on the way back home, there were some kids sitting on the porch talking or whatever. And I stepped on something. I'm not quite sure what it was, but it made a loud popping sound. And it startled me and it startled the kids. And they were like, holy shit. And I was like, wow, what the hell? And they were like, what was that? And I said, I don't know. It sounded like one of those, one of those fireworks that you throw on the ground and pop. Well, I didn't know the name of it at the time. Now I know. They're called snaps. And I don't know if they're still made, but anybody that's, you know, in the 30 to 40 year range, age range, you know, you'll remember. Those things were fun. You'd throw them at people's feet and they'd jump and it was hilarious. Also, those little snakes, those little, uh, those little thingies of, um, looked like lumps of coal. And you'd light them and it'd grow into like this weird snake shape or whatever. I mean, it was stuff that we could play with when we were kids that wouldn't hurt us like sparklers or those, you know, um, you know, bottle rockets and stuff. Although we did play with bottle rockets and stuff. I mean, don't lie. We were bad little things. Um, but it was stuff that our parents would be like, you know, oh, here you go. Here, here's some snaps. Go play with that. You know, and we'd walk around, and, you know. But, you know, I couldn't think of the name. So I'm trying to describe what they are to this kid who clearly has smoked more than Shaggy and Scooby-Doo combined. And he's like, oh yeah, Pop Rocks, yeah, those are great, I like to eat them. You what? You like to eat these firecrackers? Oh yeah, they're great. They tingle. <laughs> no, they don't. It's gunpowder wrapped in paper. You don't eat these. Oh yeah, man, they're great. They're real awesome, man. What? Are you serious? Wow. Well, this lady, I guess was his mother, was loading up a van that was parked on the street. And she walks up to him and she's like, Honey, don't talk to him. He's retarded. And I'm like, Ding! Wow, that's my cue. I must go home now and go to my little cocoon of sanity where everybody is not stupid at all. But instead, you know, before I left, I, you know, gave them some words of wisdom. I said, look, if he really is eating these fireworks that I'm trying to explain what they are, if he really is eating these things, then the next time somebody lights a cigarette, you better back away because he's going to go boom. And I walked away. I don't care if they think I was nuts. I'm moving out of this neighborhood soon anyway, so I really don't care. But, um... You know, the stupid is so thick. It makes... it. I don't understand it. I mean, if somebody can explain to me... I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole, you know, this generation that's coming up of age. There's not many of them that have some sense. A lot of them right now are so immersed in the media and the music culture and all these distractions, you know, oh, gotta buy this game, gotta do this, gotta watch that movie, gotta do, you know, all of these distractions, they're immersed in it. They were born into it. Uh, chances are they were born into a single parent family where the TV was the babysitter and, you know, the TV was their companion, their teacher, their tutor, their, their mentor, their uh, sensei, if you will. And, you know, they were born into it, and they're, you know, so I can't really fault them for that because they're just kids. It's not their fault. They're not the ones that, like, as soon as they were born, they were like, Mama, MTV? No, they didn't do that. It wasn't their fault. It was their parents, you know, and I'm not faulting the parents 100% either because they had to go out, get a job to support the family to feed that kid. You know, I mean, it's a rat race. You know, you can't really put the blame on, on one particular person 100%. Okay, everybody has had a hand in molding these, these individual kids' lives. 
and you know everybody's got to shoulder the burden is basically you know what I think and you know it's just it boggles my mind how they just it's just really sad I mean my kids they watch PBS whenever they watch TV they don't really watch much else they watch some movies or whatever that we download you know we we try to monitor their what they what they see but the other day I overheard my kids talking about Lady Gaga now anybody that knows me knows me pretty well that I call her Lady Gag Gag because she's absolutely a complete Illuminati mind control puppet slave whatever whatever you want to call it you know but kids listen to her music it's catchy it's got a beat you know and it's gonna be catchy folks the music industry knows what they're doing they know what will stick in your head you know a real catchy tune that sticks in your head you know so my kids were singing it and I'm like what am I hallucinating and then I talked to my roommate and he's like oh you know that song was on the chipmunks in the chipmunks movie I'm like no I thought the chipmunks were okay I grew up with the chipmunks crap <laughs> so I mean it's everywhere you know even me I can't stop it my own children are you know getting caught up to you know a very small extent but still an extent and it's just all I can do is try to raise my kids the best I can to be the best people possible as far as learning how to respect others common courtesy and decency a uh, sense of responsibility and duty um, so that when they're older and they go out into the world they can be functional members of society I can't really sit down and teach them all the stuff that I know about the real reality of the world that kind of thing they're just gonna have to ask me about when they're old enough to understand and when I do it's gonna blow the lid off for them and they're gonna be like oh no I think I want to go back to sleep well um, I don't wanna you know I wanna go back to my walking coma I don't wanna know this stuff this is depressing and you know I'll go from there but um, that's pretty much it I just wanted to kind of do one last vlog before summer vacation um, so I hope all of you have an awesome summer vacation um, you know safe happy um, fun um, you know me I'm trying to get a job <laughs> so that I can kind of get away from all of this stuff so I can get paid to deal with the stupid because I think if I get compensated for dealing with the stupid that I have to deal with it's gonna make me feel a little bit better <laughs> that and hey you know I could use the money um, you know I'm not like dirt poor but I'm not like comfortable yet you know so I've got to you know uh, you know grease the wheels and you know get off my butt and whatnot so um, but yeah peace love and happiness and See you in two months.